Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Join me as I take on the challenge of exploring Japan like a pro, trying to uncover hidden gems and local secrets in just one week. Japan. It is a captivating destination that offers a blend of ancient traditions and modern innovations, making it a favorite among travelers. When we think about traveling to Japan, we often imagine iconic landmarks like Tokyo Tower, Fushimi Inari Shrine, and Miyajima Island. But what if I told you that there is so much more to Japan than just these tourist hotspots? My goal is to show you how to experience Japan like a local, to delve deeper into the culture, history, and daily life of this incredible country. One of the biggest challenges many travelers face when visiting Japan is the language barrier. While many signs and menus are translated into English, it's still easy to get lost in translation especially when trying to communicate with locals. Another obstacle is navigating Japan's complex transportation system, which can be overwhelming even for seasoned travelers. And then, of course, there are cultural differences that can lead to misunderstandings or unintentionally offending locales. For example, not knowing the proper etiquette for visiting an onsen or Japanese hot spring can lead to some awkward moments. And let's not forget about the infamous Tokyo rush hour, where trains are packed to the brim, and it's every man for himself. From getting stuck in a crowded train car during peak hour, to accidentally offending someone with your chopstick etiquette, it's easy to feel frustrated or embarrassed when things don't go as planned. But the key to overcoming these obstacles is to be open-minded, patient, and willing to learn from your mistakes. Moving on, let's talk about some practical tips for navigating Japan like a pro. One essential phrase to know is sumimasen, which means excuse me or sorry, and can get you out of just about any sticky situation. Another lifesaver is the Hyperdia app, which helps you navigate Japan's complex train system and even provides real-time schedules and delays. When it comes to transportation, consider investing in a prepaid IC card like a Suica or Pasmo card, which can be used on most trains, buses and subways throughout the country. And if you're feeling adventurous, try taking a local bus or taxi which can be a great way to see the countryside and interact with locals. Finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. Most Japanese people are more than happy to assist a lost or confused foreigner. Moving on, let's dive into some of the top experiences you absolutely can't miss while in Japan. First up, the iconic cities of Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. Tokyo, with its bustling streets, cutting-edge technology, and endless entertainment options, is a city that never sleeps. Whether you're exploring the neon-lit districts of Shibuya and Shinjuku, or soaking in the serene beauty of the Meiji Shrine, Tokyo offers a unique blend of the traditional and the modern. Next, Kyoto, the cultural heart of Japan. Here you can wander through historic temples, serene gardens, and picturesque tea houses. Don't miss the iconic Fushimi Inari Shrine, with its thousands of red tori gates, or the tranquil Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, both offering a glimpse into Japan's rich heritage. And then there's Osaka, a city known for its culinary delights and vibrant nightlife. From the mouth-watering street food in Dotonbori to the impressive Osaka Castle, this city is a foodie's paradise and a hub of entertainment. These cities showcase the vibrant culture, historical landmarks, and modern attractions that make Japan a must-visit destination. 
Whether you're navigating the crowded streets of Tokyo, finding peace in Kyoto's temples, or indulging in Osaka's gastronomic wonders, you're guaranteed an unforgettable experience. Now, let's move on to some personal experiences that highlight the true essence of traveling in Japan. One of my own personal standout experiences in Japan was visiting the Totori Sand Dunes, a surreal landscape of towering sand dunes that feel like something out of a sci-fi movie. What made this experience truly special, however, was sharing it with a local friend who showed me the secret spots and hidden gems that most tourists never get to see. It was moments like these that reminded me why I love traveling in Japan. The people, the food, the culture, everything comes together to create an experience that's truly one of a kind. And it's not just about visiting famous landmarks or trying new foods, but about immersing yourself in the daily life and routines of the locals. Cultural experiences. Cultural experiences in Japan are deeply rooted in the country's traditions, history, and social customs. Visitors can engage with Japan's culture in a variety of ways, from participating in ancient rituals to observing local festivals. Here's a guide to some of the most immersive cultural experiences in Japan. Tea Ceremony the Japanese tea ceremony, or the way of tea, is a highly structured ritual involving preparing and drinking matcha. It's a meditative practice that emphasizes harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Ryokan Stay, traditional Japanese inn. Staying in a ryokan offers a glimpse into traditional Japanese hospitality, known as omotenashi. Ryokans typically feature tatami mat rooms, sliding shoji doors, futon bedding, and onsen, hot springs. Geisha performances. Geisha are traditional female entertainers skilled in classical Japanese arts, such as music, dance, and games. Their world is secretive, but visitors can get a glimpse of their art through organized performances or by dining at select establishments. As I reflect on my own journey through Japan, I realize that it's the little things that make all the difference the chance encounters with locals, the hidden alleyways and secret spots, the unexpected surprises that come with stepping off the beaten path. And that's what I want to inspire in you. The confidence to explore Japan on your own terms, to discover the hidden gems and local secrets that make this country so unique, So, what are some of your own experiences or questions about traveling in Japan? Have you got a favorite spot or hidden gem that you just can't get enough of? Share your stories with me in the comments below and don't forget to check out my next travel video for more insider tips and behind the scenes fun.